field is growing rapidly with ever-expanding capabilities and migration to less invasive, safer and more cost-efficient procedures. At RSNA, GE Healthcare is showcasing its ASSIST brand, a collection of six interventional imaging software packages designed for specific clinical subspecialties and complex endovascular procedures to help clinicians perform procedures with greater accuracy, dose efficiency and confidence. So for complex endovascular interventions, the value of using 3D imaging to plan the procedure then guided is well understood. But workflow tend to discourage users and sometimes accuracy is doubted because of the registration challenges. So we introduce Vessel Assist to address such needs. It's a 3D or cone beam CT based with multimodality capability solution for planning and guidance of complex endovascular interventions. First, Vessel Assist brings segmentation and measurement tools that are sophisticated and accurate, yet easy and fast to use thanks to automated or semi-automated processes. Second, all this careful preparatory work is leveraged to its fullest by importing the planning data set for 2D, 3D automatic fusion to help guide during interventions with augmented reality. Let's take a look at some specific applications. First, a recanalization of a peripheral chronic total occlusion uh, case. Uh, during these uh, procedures, these endovascular procedures, vascular surgeons or interventional radiologists face real technical challenges such as perforation and false tracking. Vessel Assist introduces center line tracking to address specifically these needs. With Vessel Assist, we can plan uh, the procedure using preoperative data sets. So we can very easily, in few clicks, extract the vascular anatomy. And when we reach the occlusion, we can create a bridge to reach to cross the thrombus. And then we can continue the vessel segmentation very easily. So we can do that for several vessels, as you will see. So in that case, I will be able to create the left and the right uh, iliac arteries using the bridging mode. And once we have done that, we will need to be able to edit the, cent the virtual center line that has been created. So this is what I will show you here on that screen. We have here the curved reformative view and we have the possibility to edit the center line through the occlusion so that we can really create virtually a pathway inside the occluded vessel. Once done, you have access to the bone anatomy, the vascular anatomy, and as well the center line that we have created previously. This can be then used during the intervention I just have to save state, to save the state and to load it on vessel assist. All right, so another complex endovascular procedure in neuro is the treatment of brain aneurysms with flow diverting stents. The challenge there is to manage to optimize the flow diverter placement for good outcomes. Vessel assist introduces automatic 3D segmentation and 3D measurement techniques to help select the right stent and plan its deployment. Afterwards, the placement of that stent is assessed with GE Cone Beam CT solution, or 3D, called Innova CTHD, and a GE design protocol called Virtual Dilution. Both the vessels and the stent are visualized simultaneously with high image quality to be able to understand their relationship. Let's take a look. So in that specific case, it's very important to crucially understand the, uh, the vascular anatomy of this brain aneurysm. In two clicks, I'll have the possibility to extract the anatomy of interest, as you can see here. Once the uh, anatomy of interest is segmented, we can easily perform key measurements that will be helpful for the device selection for the treatment. You can do lens measurements, you can do diameter measurements, 
and you can work in detail in the cross-sectional information to evaluate the anatomy and how your devices would, uh, would fit within the anatomy. So you can adjust the lens, the diameters, in order to match uh, and, and select the proper device for, for, for your intervention. And afterwards, it's very important to understand the location of uh, the device within the anatomy. We can perform an Innova CT HD to localize the device within the vascular anatomy. So we can use the virtual dilution concept in order to see clearly the device location within the vascular anatomy. As well, we have the possibility to highlight in volume rendering the location of the device within, uh, within the vessels. For needle procedures, the accuracy of the placement of the device determines outcomes. It can be challenging to assess the relationship of the device to the anatomy on 2D projections. Checking the needle placement in space, in other words, on 3D images, is the way to go. But reacquiring a 3D during procedures for that goal can be discouraging. Now, Needle Assist introduces an innovative solution called Stereo 3D that reconstructs the needle in the 3D anatomy from just two fluoro images with great accuracy and a fast guided workflow for the price and dose of just two fluoro shots. Let's go take a look. Once a needle is in place, we may want to understand the exact location of the needle within the 3D anatomy. Stereo 3D is an intuitive workflow that guides the physicians acquire two fluoro images on two different angulations. Once acquired, the physician ensures the initial convincity is well registered within the fluoroscopic images on these two images. And then you can validate Stereo 3D will automatically detect the needles on the two images and we will be able to export this data on the cross-sectional information that has been acquired during the planning of the procedure. So we saw how vessel assist and needle assist can help endovascular and needle procedures. What about liver, uh, tumor liver cases? Uh, the challenges there are slightly different. Tumors in the liver are fed by small arteries. At the same time, the liver arterial tree is a highly complex 3D structure. As a consequence, identifying the tumor feeding vessels can take significant time, radiation exposure, and contrast material. To help planning liver tumor embolization, the application flight plan for liver automatically highlights vessels traveling from the catheter tip to the vicinity of a hypervascularized lesion. Our users and clinical partners from around the world are demonstrating now how solu this solution helps improve outcomes for patients. Specifically, three points. Flight plan for liver improves sensitivity of tumor feeding vessel identification to reach up to 97%. Second, inter-reader agreement with flight plan for liver is higher in comparison to DSA or cone bean CT alone. Third, the mean number of DSA and the procedural time for a single taste session are significantly less with flight plan for liver than without it.